Hi there. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a class in C++. So basically, our class is a blueprint for our data type. It doesn't actually define the data type from scratch, but it tells you how you are going to use those data types, how you are going to access them through the class. So let's take a real life example. For example, let's say I have one farm and in that farm I have total 12 ships. And I make sales around let's say $34 per month. Okay, so my class basically for my farm is class farm. Okay, inside that the total count of sheep we are going to use integer data type and I'm going to say let's say 12 sheep there and sales is again let's say integer or it can be double value so let's say 34.52 is that double value so we will take a look at how to create class and how to give those data types some value and how to access that class so let's start by creating one empty C++ project in your Visual Studio, you can use any other ID of your choice and inside your CPP file, simply use include iostream, then using namespace standard, we are going to start writing our class. So we don't have to write integer main first, we can directly start with keyword class. Okay. And when you use the default declaration for your class, it will automatically populate with this boilerplate code. Okay, So I'm going to remove this because Visual Studio is always going to help you with all that. So I'm just going to remove this and here instead of my class, I'm going to write let's say farm. So my class name is farm and this class is the keyword for creating class. Let me just remove this too and this is your empty class. It does nothing for now but let's say we will start adding our public data types. So first let's add integer sheep count then add let's say double cells. Okay now you have these two things within your class and you want to access them in your main function. So let's create one integer main function. So here it looks like this. Now here I'm going to use farm and let's say fm as object. So whenever I call for my class I will use class name and then some variable name or object name like we choose for this sheep count or sales you can choose small such as fm or you can choose let's say this f1 or say obj etc okay so let's go with something simple fm so this is your class and fm is your object so now that you have created object this object gets access to your public elements. So let's start with fm dot sales and I'm going to use 30.52 as first value. Then fm dot sheep count. Let's say 12 sheep and that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to use c out and say sorry this change of sheep count now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sheep count in farm and going to use fm dot sheep count and then end line then I'm going to use sheep cells So here I'm going to use fm dot cells 
and then I'm going to use system and then pass it pause and then return zero okay so what we did here is we created one farm class and then in your class you can have three types of access modifiers one is public you can have protected and private currently we just want to access the public elements from your class so we declare our data type and variables within public and we are accessing those by creating object of our farm class now if I run this it should print the values for sales and sheep count so let's run this and here you see sheep count in farm is 12 and sheep sales set to 34.52 okay so you get the idea of how to create a class how to set the data types within your class to access modifier such as public private and protected and how to access public element by creating object of your class in integer main method you also learn how to use that object to access public members within your class and finally how to print that using your object name and then those public members okay so this was a short example on how to create a class in C++.